<laughs> Welcome to the 31 Nights of Magawee! Every day in the month of October, I will review one spooky, scary movie! Come and join if you dare! <laughs> my mom says none of my relatives. <laughs> Oh yeah, go shawty, it's your birthday, we're gonna get hit with the copyright, Oh shawty, it's your birthday, we're gonna get hit with the copyright, yeah, I swear man, Blumhouse has got to be one of the smartest production companies in the new age of cinema, like I mentioned back in my night three review of Paranormal Activity, Jason Blum has this down to a science. Throw as little money as possible at any horror idea, whether it be terrible or good, and watch the money just roll on in. This is the case with 2017's Happy Death Day, in which we follow a college student tree who, after getting murdered on the night of her birthday, begins to relieve the same day over and over again, and sets out to find a killer before it is too late. From that premise, you'd be right to assume it's a shameless Groundhog Day ripoff. And to that, I would say no, because for what it is, Happy Death Day is actually a really, really fun and entertaining movie, to be honest with you. It doesn't try and reinvent the wheel or anything. It's just pure, dumb fun, and I'm all for that. The story of the film is simple and effective. Girl gets killed, relives the same day over and over again, and tries to find a way to stop it. She also learns how to become a better person and steadily improves her character throughout the film. Easy, effective, and simple to watch for anyone of all age and backgrounds. Another aspect of the film I enjoyed would be the humor. The humor of the film goes between lighthearted and sweet to just straight up dark comedy. There were scenes in this film that just made me laugh way harder than should have, but probably the ones where she kept getting killed over and over again in the Gun Hall Day. That was pretty fun. The only thing that I say brings the film down for me would be the characters. Besides the main character, Tree, no one else really feel, felt compelling as a character. They all felt like one dimensional cardboard cutouts with one trait, and it made them very boring to watch. Besides Tree, I don't even remember, I don't remember anyone else's name to be honest with you, but that's kind of like a small claim that I have overall, which is pretty a fun film. Happy Death Day was released on October 13, 2017, on a budget of $4.8 million. After it's one of the box office, we go on to gross $125.5 million worldwide. Overall, Happy Death Day is a fun film. It's not the greatest horror movie, and it doesn't do a lot to reinvent or change the wheel, but it knows what it is and has fun with it, and I'm all for it. I'm going to give Happy Death Day a 7.5 out of 10. Stay tuned for Night 14. Thank <laughs> you.